And here we have a little instructional thing. But we're visiting Regen Thrift. It's in Brampton. It, it, the entrance is on the side of the building. If you look through the, the doors, that's uh, Queen Street. There is a sign, but it's pretty low to the ground. Uh, as, as, there's a bunch of other businesses. Um, nice mission statement. They do have a cafe if you go on the right days. They do some social media. They appear to have uh, a rotating 50% off tag prices. And as you come in, you, we were there uh, just before Father's Day. And you'll see some other signage regarding that. Um, they start off, it's a large facility. It uh, feels a bit sparsely populated. Uh, parts of it are more thoroughly filled. It's got a high ceiling. They try uh, to do a lot of things. I think they do a lot of good things. Come vicariously tour thrift stores and antique shops with Hawaiian shirt Papa. And including selling things in bulk packs, not just as individually. They have new items as well as used. Some of them it's harder to tell whether it's new or used. They have some nice quality in some areas, at least. I can't say everything, because I obviously don't touch absolutely everything. I try to give you an overview of the kind of facility it is. There's the... It looks like it was some sort of big box store at some point. The cafe is down at that end. And they have these vignettes on to the right-hand side as you enter. This one seemed to be in the midst of being set up for something new. The next one seems to have sporting goods. And the next one seems to have bags, backpacks, purses, a whole selection of things some luggage as well from the looks of it and then we get into some toys and across from those is the the hard goods so the toys are here after the hard goods we see the furniture on the left side uh, these are board games Sorry, I didn't catch all of it up there. But all sorts of games. And then we finally do get into the section with the furniture in it. There's a considerable amount of furniture. It's reasonably well set up. The clothing seems to be grouped by color. I did find a Hawaiian shirt to look at. I don't believe, no, I did not obtain this one for whatever reason. So, sometimes it has to do with size, quality, condition issues. Uh, it varies. The prices are very, very reasonable. We'll see one of the signs at some point, a bit later. They've selected some items and put them in the front right by the door. And then they have other items that are, we'll be seeing them, that are a bit nicer, I guess. In their opinion, they are. And they're over by the cashier. There you've got pants and slacks, I guess, for if they're women. 
and they've got other things as low as $2.99 for tops. That's the door that you could see that was lit up. Never know what you find. There seems to be some younger people's clothing. As you can see, they're color grouped. Not size group necessarily. They may also be size group, but they're in colors, color groupings. They have some things that are just piled onto some of the displays. Other areas, it looks like they have some you know, like uniforms. Whether it's for a school or for employment, not sure. But they're just plain black and plain white. Which do remind me of some school uniforms. They didn't have any logo on them, so. I'm not sure what the regen is. I suspect that they are trying to just help folks. And we have quite a selection of shoes and footwear. Perhaps they also deal with uh, uh, incarcerated persons being released and assist them in reintegrating into society. I'm not sure. I shouldn't be guessing. If you really want to know, you can check their, their social, social media pages. So this is on the eastern side of uh, downtown Brampton, between Brampton and Bramalee, if you please. Uh, the road was fairly busy to turn into this place. So take your time. Uh, like I th it didn't help that the signage was so low to the ground that you could easily miss it. Uh, try to use the uh, voice assistance from Google Maps or travel eastbound. I was I happened to be going westbound. Uh, quite a, quite a bit of artwork. Not particularly expensive. If you just want something to fill the wall, there's plenty here. We'll focus on some of them a bit later on. It's a long wall. Uh, probably that behind this wall is where they do some of the um, sorting preparation for the store. And they have another section some other small items and small frames around the corner from those larger items. We're getting close to that cafe part. Well, here we're back to the larger pieces of art. And it feels like it just goes on and on and on. Interesting uh, depictions of uh, whatever it is in some of the art. And though she be but little, she is fierce. It's a nice sign for a young lady. Is it Friday yet? Uh, such a good refrain by so many people. And a triptych. And if we were into the hard goods that we actually didn't take a good look at earlier. It's glassware, some electronics, some cabinets from the looks of it, dressers, all kinds of things are 
offered. Here's some more of the tables. As you can see the tables, the furniture, and then there's the clothing. Uh, quite a selection of tables and sofas. Sometimes the sofas are large for modern small condos, but if you have a larger, older home, that's not bad. And they have a bike bike shop within the store, right at the back, straight in from the door. And they do, it, it appears that they do also some repairs. There's a bit of a standard chart for those, for some, some things. I doubt if they'll do everything that some other places might do. Bike shop. And the big puffy sofas they take up so much room in a in a in, some, in a house or a room you can't fit them everywhere some older pieces or at least they look older and something i don't quite know what to make of they were just in bins uh, then we have the small appliances electronics some light fixtures as well we're going to focus it on this one going up it's a pole light and I don't think it's a particularly old one but it's one of those classic designs it makes you feel like you've got a mid mid-century item although I, th I honestly believe this is a a fairly recent product so these are the slightly nicer items that they have near the cash registers and and we've got some of the other nicer clothing as well that they keep closer to the cash register along with some of the accessories and hats and toques and scarves some glass cases right by the cash some of these items uh, question about their pricing of them but they're welcome to price them as they wish they can and if you choose to obtain them at that those prices you're also probably helping a good cause another view of the whole whole span of of the building uh, the building itself is much much larger it's, in, it's an incredibly large building uh, right beside them there is a, um, a, a grocery store and it seems to sell some prepared foods as well but it, uh, it's like Ethiopian food or something like that I didn't focus on that because it wasn't of interest to me. They do have a wheelchair ramp, so accessibility is not a problem going to this place, besides the stairs that they have. And now we are getting right up to the Browns Cafe. Their hours are Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, now, who knows? That, that could actually change and improve or be more limited. And here's the sign for the books and media, the recorded media. We'll focus in a bit better on that in a moment. And the sign is right beside the cafe servery area we'll see these are three for two dollars DVDs three for five dollars VHS five for two bucks and vinyl is four for three dollars probably some of the best prices I've seen for all of those items in in, uh, in thrift stores 
So th this would actually help them keep a f uh, not a huge amount in and it'll be reasonably fresh. If you want to use some of the uh, vinyl, for example, for, for some other purpose of uh, some artwork, well, you can't beat that price. magazines and cashiers right there oh, oh, by that wall and wall that goes across and these are the books that they have and their prices buy five get five free now again how do you go and beat that one So there's a, a fair selection. It's not a massive collection of books, but they're not trying to keep a library. They're trying to sell these and move them on to the into the community. That's an even a, an encyclopedia. Maybe even a couple of them. Some of the books are academic, some of them are novels. You get a bit of selection of each of those. This is, looks like another encyclopedia. And a third. And they have a section with uh, some fabrics and cushions as well. sheets and pillowcases. And here's the uh, little bit of uh, jewelry case right at the cache. That is, uh, Westwood Avenue tells me that this was an overpriced piece of depression glass again it's yours to choose to buy or not and if you want it could be a, a nice donation to a good cause some of the nicer clothes again and these are all the other nicer items at least that's what they determined them to be they're often not much more different than the other items they had on, on the shelf, but they're, they do show well. Here's some of that artwork I was referring to earlier. Cute little one with the cats. And as I said, uh, we were there just before uh, Father's Day, so they're having a whole everything off in the store. And then they're doing additional flash sales. Trying to clear out some stuff. Well, thank you for watching. I'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up, a like in other words, uh, maybe a dingle on the bell so that you know when the next one comes out. And I hope you subscribe. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.